this is where it all started. The original map was um, a bit simpler, but I mean, there were things I wanted to add at the time, okay. but I couldn't. So let me just quickly make myself a lineup. I can't wait to do the 1.3 uh, area because I have a lot of planes and tanks that I want to do with. Yeah, it. but that's um, that's exactly why. It, well, well, there is a 1.3 map coming up. Maybe if this one goes fast, we have actually time to do another one. Yeah, because 1.3 is also available, but this is mainly for for their reserve tanks. Uh, okay. uh, just to see what they what they feel like in a different environment than uh, ordinary War Thunder. Okay, oh, I should probably check so, out my phantom out of it. Uh, okay, let me get the map. So I have some kind of an version of. Here we go. So this is what the map was supposed to look like. Uh, oh yeah, I had, you don't see it. I'm going to stream so you can. Um, share screen. All right, get on the map. Okay, here we go. So, this is what uh, the world looks like before the very first move. And it is based on loosely two things. Uh, Molotov, Ribbentrop, Pact, Pact, which means uh, the Germany and Soviet Union will not have a war between okay. each other. And the second would be the uh, events of the uh, TV series Man in a High Castle, in where um, Germany wins the nuclear race, and they will bomb the uh, United States, and therefore United States surrenders. Oh, okay. And um, this reshapes the world. So you have the, the, the Greater Germany Reich, which yeah. takes, takes this kind of land. In um, Man in a High Castle, obviously, takes a lot, lot of east, all the way to the Ural Mountains. But in reality, I, bomb, bomb or no bomb, uh, I don't think they would have able to actually fight through. Oh, okay. Because Soviet Union would have not folded just because they didn't get lend lease. Uh, they would have fought with or without it. Okay. You just threw maybe a couple of more million people dead for the same outcome. Uh, Japan has got the hold of Australia and China. They pretty much had the China. Technically, you could we could argue that um, Chinese could have fought forever in rural areas, and perhaps perhaps you're right. But in all the fertile, the most um, richest part of the China, these were taken by Japanese straight away, all the okay. way from Beijing to Hong Kong, and there was no evidence that Chinese were ever able to get those things on their own. In fact, if I remember correctly, World War II ended because Japan surrendered to the United States. China was not a factor at all in there. So okay. they would have been forever resources. And if obviously if there was no surrender to the US because US surrendered um, German to Germany, having uh, Washington blown, up, blown away, then um, maybe if you haven't watched the series, um, might be interesting thing to, to see. Uh, yeah, so this is now 
to start. Yeah, before. that is also a show I really want to watch. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the the intro at least? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. This American, I, new, I, this new American I flag looks cool. I read a book about it too. <laughs> yeah. Have Have you ever heard of the book called The Darkest Hour? Um, I haven't read it. I'm sort of aware of it, of its existence. Yeah, it, it's really good. It's basically the same thing, but more like ground troops and resistance type stuff. Yeah, you get all that shit in uh, Man in a High Castle as well. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, why, why is it, what's with the timeline of this event? The timeline starts in uh, 1st of January 2000. And we are using oh, okay. uh, World War II technology. What the fuck's going on? So, my uh, theory is this. Um, you don't see a lot of crowd fighting in the series either. And um, um, my thesis on this particular world is um, because now you have nuclear superpower, they can all that they have to do is just threaten anyone okay. to, nuke, to nuke them. So you don't really need to waste your resources on large ground, ground armies. All you yeah. have to do is uh, you have to have missiles and you have to have more heads. That's it. Yes. Now, the question is, what about um, inter... Um, what about the relationship between superpowers? That's quite easy. Soviet Union already had spies in Manhattan Project. Yeah. So, Manhattan Project did not stop because Germany got the bomb first in this world. It's just, the, there was a parallel development. So somebody won. But the development okay. still went on and Manhattan Project still happened. And because of USSR had a spies, they still got the knowledge of no atomic weapons. So, yeah. at some point, they simply went on as usual, uh, detonated their first device in 1949. After this, they are, they are kind of untouchable. You nuke okay. them, they nuke you back. Now what? So, Japan was an ally of um, Germany and therefore they are under the German nuclear umbrella. However, yeah. they do not have nukes themselves because they don't have a nuclear, nuclear research. Germany okay. had it. Um, in, I mean, because they made Jews leave, including Einstein himself, obviously he also had a huge uh, exodus of the scientists. But they did definitely yeah. had, had the research. It was in Germany when they discovered the uh, split, splitting of the atom. It's, it's possible. Okay. Uh, so, you have two super great states with a nuclear research going on. Somebody won, somebody lost, but both had it. This is why they have nuclear weapons. Yeah. Now, the plan for this kind of um, world campaign to, to even succeed would be to seize some of the nuclear weapons as quickly as possible and turn them around. In real world, you can't seize the weapons because you don't have the launch codes and you don't know where those weapons are pointing. Yeah. So the only way, for, yeah, the only way for this to work would be um, to have somebody from inside nuclear research deep enough to who knows how to who to program the the um, launch the flight programs of the warheads so you can just pretty much uh, just uh, switch the, um, the guidance systems you have okay. to have an inside insider there so let's 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 assume we have them we have the insiders we are now ready to strike um, how we can get away with it all superpowers are really big on military prowess uh, parades in 2000 the, of our timeline, there was a huge worldwide party. There was yeah. a big a TV um, program that lasted 24 hours, New Year's program. I don't think you've ever seen anything like this before or after. So, in this world, you're definitely going to have a whole world, three superpowers, 
having large uh, gatherings, parades, celebrations whatsoever. So in uh, dictatorships, you always have a military parade where you show vintage weapons. This is where our guys come in because we, the locals, just like just like in a, in a, in a movie in a on a castle, we can maintain the, the the vintage stuff and repair them if we want to. So all the, okay. the the museum tanks, everything is kind of run by by local local workforce, which means we know how to repair them, how to fix them. We have a small workshops set up to take care of vintage equipment, kind of like a like a Covington, like like a Bovington uh, tank museum. Okay. Um, one moment. Uh... Yep, and also I'm ready whenever you are. So. Got four tanks, four planes. Oh, that should give us enough. Oh, I know what I can do. In the meantime, I can put a flag on it. Let's see. Uh, can you hear me now? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, cool. So, because of local nations have have um, some of the vintage wep um, weapon weapon under their, their uh, control, so you always have vintage tanks. Um, kind of participating in parades so to yeah. year 2000 celebrations military parades all over this uh, dystopian world and after the celebrations nobody would suspect anything if you bring a huge number of them on the streets they would just parade everybody's happy after the parade they don't go back to the barracks or the or trucks they start to roam around the country yeah and this is how our rebellion starts. Our tanks have actually live ammo and they have um, a certain places they need to go, like take over some nuclear facilities. Yes. And obviously start to take over the cities. And now I'm going to switch on the first rebel forces on the map. And we are starting with the Battle of uh, Parno, my hometown. Okay, okay, okay. that was a long intro, but um, I think the lore is kind of cool. So, here we go, and now I'm switching over to the War Thunder. Okay, let's see. Uh, stop streaming. The Can map? I show off how patriotic my uh, tank is? <laughs> and you get to find out what it is in a minute. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna set up the lobby. Uh, would it be easier for you if it were in um, um, realistic mode? Uh, yes. Because it doesn't really have fine. to be. Um, doesn't really have to be simulator. Is it because it's gonna be a reenactment of the first battle? Okay. What do you mean mission download fade? It's definitely there. Uh, one moment. There we go. Found it. C. 
set up everything to one. Mm -hmm. I think that's patriotic yes, enough. Yes. So enemies cannot be also USSR. Now we're going to have obviously an opposition tanks because let's say the uh, MVD or internal uh, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and their soldiers in yeah. USSR kind of figured it out that the only way to do anything against those mystery museum tanks would be just seize some of them and try to operate them on their own. And that's what they are trying to do. Okay, apply. Let's see, engine control realistic, all views allowed. Map markers, yes, all the other markers, no. Okay, I have a lobby now. So, Mr. Torso Rabbit. Alright, let's do this. Uh -huh. New year, new damage control. Yeah. There might even be a couple of uh, Christmas trees around, still around somewhere. Ooh, yay! Okay. Also, we are not in a full strength because it's a start of a rebellion, so we have like one company rather than ah, a, okay, a whole true. battalion. Well, it's that best be of uh, a bombing target won't be too bad. Looks like somebody got sober earlier. <laughs> Oh, this is your fucking guy. Hold up. So, also, the um, objects on the, in the city are not random. You have a police station, you have um, telecommunications, you have barracks, and you have a city hall, okay. and all those need to be seized to have a control over town. And I try to make them look like they are, that, that that actually you can kind of tell by the look of this house what it is. Our battalion seems to be, well, half a battalion. Seems to be, uh, South of us? Yeah. Is 
so the barracks will be around the earth, the, the, the earth cap. Oh, I was just going that area. Yeah, let's because they are military um, installation. Expect some sort of resistance. Okay. And by the way, they look like barracks. Ah. So this is not the part of the typical um, typical map of this kind. Okay. I need to probably reload the get a full belt in before we go. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do a lot of damage, but I can definitely probably take out the uh, It's an open top vehicle, I think. We're going to have more of these... Um, these... Um, silver belt gun things, I guess. Yeah. Wait, wait, what, 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 what's that noise? I think that oh, was it's, a, it's another tank. tank. Oh, I think they might be over here. Yeah, I got a bit but paranoid about, about the air. If you have a burning tank in front of you, be very really careful. Uh, You're blocking my shot. Okay. Ooh. Keep going, keep going. Uh, keep peppering the, the crews, man. This is getting ridiculous. This is 1.0. It should not be a challenge. A lot. All right. I think it's maybe might be time for. Yes, yeah. And we need to get those things uh, killed and deleted. Okay, I'm gonna go up and take care of them from the air. Uh, don't fuck up the barrack. Oh, Motherfuck! I got lost. Oopsie daisy. Okay, what is a tank I don't want to lose? Yeah, yeah I, got, I think I have one tank left. It's kind of a bit of a sad because the barracks look, look really cool actually. Just now yeah. you can't now you can't see them because you won't be there. It would be nice if we can get off the runway before crashing into a tree. Well, you sh I can't see how you do that because it's, uh, it's realistic. Oh, all right, we're good. What the there hell am I firing?
I have a friendly French tank in front of me. Ah. Uh, he's gonna take up. he's gonna tank all the shots now. Yeah. Probably not blown out my engine, but I do want to go back to base and then try. The barracks look really cool by the way. They have a bunch of trucks parked in front and you have uh, w the watchtowers, a load of like a uh, soldier okay. housing. I'm gonna put smoke on so you can probably see me. Up just don't bomb it, down just down. don't bomb it, because you're gonna get, get fucked up if you do. Oi 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 That smoke is not a person. It's a vehicle. I'm just going over the rest of the mountain and I'm on my way. Um, Ooh, it, it is actually... It is harder than it looks. Okay, I'm gonna do like a low flyby and see what's there. I'm doing a really st bunch of stupid mistakes, but what can you do? I mean... What the hell just happened? Oh, l l look into the sky! It's a college people. <laughs> we are. G that's why the barracks got. Our trucks got fucked up a bit. Yeah. Alright, I see you, so I'm not gonna bully you. Thank you. What plane are you flying? Um... A V-156-B1. Oh, the, the type of... Did you water the tree? Um, I mean, green, greenery is quite important. The enemy control yeah, we gotta kill this world in one way or another. Uh, most of these are open top, so I What the hell is going open. on over here? I thought this would do the duty.
time to do some uh, recovery mission. Yes. Oh, at least I have a at least more have more lift than I had oil. Because I was almost off the runway uh, last time when I finally got left off. But I got my little swordfish. So I could just drop bombs on the pedal time. That French tank is a coward. He's running away. No, he's backing up and blocking our the way up, blocking our convoy for no reason. <laughs> Just being a pain in the ass, but. Well, it's French. What what do you expect? Yeah, they always have to be the scapegoat. Always left us a uh, French, the French to rent off for us. Okay, and now our our our, con our uh, company can go. Well, at least I have a higher view over the area because I do not have a bomb site with the other plane. Two fifties, so that would be good enough for against them. So, one uh, point three can be very interesting because there's a lot of like new stuff with heavy things and then more different types of bombers. Okay, so he ate it. Oh, I see you, I think.
think those are enemy tanks. Oh, is our friend? I think enemy. Uh, I think. I think enemy tanks are around the uh, telecommunications. You can tell from from the mast where the house is. They seem to be around there a lot. Yeah, I can see oh, oh, that's a little column of three-ish white paint. I don't know what they are yet. I'm trying to determine if I should bomb them or not. Bomb them? Could be oh yeah, that was definitely... Holy shit, what's going on? Um... Let me guess, you weren't alone. Well, I think it's the perfect time to start using my pyros now. And put them to sleep. I'm gonna die by me, so that's good. The airfield is ours, we must hold it. Uh, this one's trying to do a head on with me. He is.
We got a kill. That's nice. I'm gonna go around. Go for E. See how this place is decorated. Very nice. Lots of boats in port, so it must be the holiday. Yep, I am now. I went with the uh, Christmas trees, and obviously there is a red flag on the. And go to the pub. We captured the airfield. We cannot let the enemy get it back. Okay, city hall is taken. Like this sound. Oh, I found you. Oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit nervous too when I saw you too. Oh, there's a good tree. Oh, there's a dude on the I can tell. Or that. And yeah, there is a red flag and everything on the street, on a, on a, on a postament. And the uh, police cars on our streets and stuff. Yeah. Oh no no no! We have a lot of things going around us. I found some AI. Yeah, I... We can find a, a whole line of things that could accelerate Okay, them. so we probably should need to start killing them one by one till, till there is no more. Oh, there's one over here. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> fucking obliterate them. I have 19 rounds left, at some point I need to leave and uh, reload, but... I got around 87 rounds. Okay, so That's you different. are pretty much like a... You are explosive on wheels. Yeah, I'm a master pounder. There is a plane... Oh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I, I there is a plane on the ground. How is it? I can see a tail tail section and everything. Plane is burning. I wonder if it is. Let's see. Yeah, look at. I don't try that. We got this. Oh no! Oh no! Don't come! Don't come forward. Yep, got it. Oh, 
totally didn't see any of them while they were right there. Because they blended with an environment. I'm gonna tell you that now. Oh, there are people, actual, actual soldiers on the ground. Ooh. I don't know if you see them uh, around there. Huh. There are actual soldiers running around. This is pretty cool. With a lot of Better than ever. What's my anger? Things I have left for 1.3 and above, so I think. Well, yeah, it's just a, just a reload your your lineup, come back. Yeah. Apparently, we have a heavy one ra ra running around somewhere. Oh dear. If uh, we could clear the, the way for the heavy tank, that would give us some cover. Yeah. I can start going back to bombing them again, but I'd probably, to be honest, I'd rather just stay on the ground for now. I can hear some noise coming from the water. Ooh. I think those couple of ships we hijacked made it. I think Ow. it's time to show my hatred to the point. I don't know what shot me, but, uh, but please don't. I'm... We captured the airfield! We must not let the enemy recapture it! Oh! There's a live tank over there. Hiding behind a dead one. There you go. I'm gonna go see if I can take out the... All the other one. Oh, those are friendly. Oh, there's a there's a enemy right behind our line of tanks that we need to pick off in a second. I'm gonna go check that out. Oh, yep, yeah, I definitely. Friendly one? Never mind. Anyway, I think I'm, uh, we're, gonna, I'm, we're gonna need that heavy tank, so I'll uh, see what I can do. Sounds like you're drowning. I was eating popcorn earlier, so maybe that might have uh, been a smart idea. Popcorn and war crimes, that sounds like a nice mix. So, where is the convoy and why is it stuck? 
Um, I think Let's have a look, shall we? Oh dear god. I'm looking for this enemy thing. It's here somewhere. I think there's a, my, uh, been a few of our friendly that decided to be a, a nuisance and blocking the whole convoy. Yeah, I'm trying to remove uh, the, the dead ones. Ah, uh, okay. Find my very English flag. Oh good, I just crashed. Oh, is this the heavy tank that you were talking about? So... It looks like the convoy kind of wants to go, but uh, I think, ah, oh, yeah, you got it. You got it. Yep. There you go. One moment. Yep. I don't think it's likely this type of stuff that might be happening in the middle of a war. Well, actually, uh, recovery missions are, at least in German army, quite common. Ah. Alright, let's, I'm gonna go have a look ahead. Look? Yes. Oh boy. Unless I get stuck on this lamppost. Just don't block it yourself. The convoy is about to move. be the T-26. Move out of the way. I found it. It's 
Let's go down the time. I'm gonna risk it. Run, little British tank, run! So I might as well go check out Steve. Found it. Why not? That's the friend line. Hold up. Why is it alone? Here what go. what is alone? It's a lone BT-7. Uh, I am big D7, but I am not. I don't think I'm alone. Cause the convoy is almost moving. I'm following C right now, and I'm about to chase this enemy. Now I see if he shoots back. What? 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 Yeah. He's just a pain on me. to find the tank. I swear it's not a go. Well, that's the best I can do. I can't make the big thing move, but I was able to clear the way. I think I found the tank that I was looking for, but who knows? Oh, where did that go? You know, I keep on focusing on C. They really expect me to clear all the rubble from the way. That is not convenient. <laughs> but if that means I won't be facing them alone, then the big thing. I'm going deep into the sea area for the perimeter. Well, here we go. Oh, I'm in the port area. Try not to take out every single fence post. The convoy is on the move. We still have vehicles left. Alright, I'm taking care of C now. Hold. Again. Did I get stuck again? Uh huh. Oh. I'm I'm getting better at my job. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, no need for you to be a tank. Just, just uh, take care of them. Well, if those things get through, they have like 76 mm guns. All of yeah, them, which, all yeah, of them have which, this yeah. caliber. I can see this thing working for us. Yeah, and they're like one shot kills, aren't they? Like against other things. The bad thing though is that um, the big tank is not moving. I think I have an idea why. There is an enemy in your area of things that you're walking on right now, so keep an eye out for there. Okay, I'm cool. Gonna go I'm gonna go check out G. Because I have a feeling that the big tank is supposed to follow the anti-air, but because anti-air is behind him, then he can't follow him. Yeah. So, I need to make sure the anti-air gets past. I does not think so. Okay, back to the police, back to the uh, telecommunication house. And this looks like our convoy is in a firefight, which is great. Oh, I think I see them already. Ah, found them. Alright, I just found a P26 stuck in a building. Building. Why is it stuck in a building? This is interesting. Who knows? Oh jeez, it really is. <laughs> Good lord. Anyway... Oh, hello, 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 we don't, we don't, we don't. I found the enemy! Why did I choose myself right below the... Alright, that... Thank you. And okay, there's no one over there. I did not see that guy. Oh. <sighs> ah. 
Ah, uh, found it. Thank you. Ah, so at the radio, a house, those trucks might actually be uh, immortal, so maybe we won't be able to actually take it, because I forgot about them. Oh, I can test that out. But okay. did you see the infantry? I did not yet, but I'm going to get close into the area. Oh yes, I see you. I'm guessing they're invincible. Well, yeah, I guess that those radio because it's supposed to be a telecommunications, and uh, you want to have some uh, radio trucks in front of it. But I, I forgot. I forgot right. that those trucks are actually vehicles. That um, okay. There's definitely artillery now. Okay, so there is more. There is more than just infantry around. Yeah. So we got bombed. We we had a lot of fun clearing the rubble for the convoy. Only for it to get stopped for good. Of course. Why couldn't it be? It has to and be then stuck at all time. We have two uh, goals to go. I don't think we're going to. Well, at least oh, we were on at the radio house now. Yeah. There is only North Bridge left now. <laughs> yeah, if you take care of G, I can go deal with E and yeah. I don't think I can because I forgot that these trucks must. Wait a minute, what killed you? Uh, it was a um, in the grass little uh, anti tank gun. Okay. It was a. It was a and it might still be around somewhere. Yes, it's <laughs> hiding in the grass. Anyway, I guess I'll start with firing at infantry then. Yeah. Oh wait no, that's a thing. Those are torpedo dogs. Found them! There you go, around the map one. Shoot enough infantry, you're gonna find the right one at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out of my town. Hello, E. Let me pick up. Yeah, the trucks are important. Um, so we can't cap G for now. Oh. Okay. Oh no! Oh no, it's a friendly. I keep thinking friendly is enemy. But I'm kinda not surprised if they're all Russian. Or Soviet. There was one around. There is more than one around. Okay. 
I'm going to skip E, because it's definitely enemies, but I can't see them at all. Oh, wait. Okay, there is one thing that I can see. I I in the one. middle of a road, and I couldn't even see it. <sighs> Last vehicle. Oh, hi there. Oh, thank you. There is um one. Uh, the, the white camouflage 26 in the middle of a road that can see you from there. Oh, I don't see it. It's, it's, it's further away behind the dead tank, behind the dead BT-5. Hmm. Hello, Navy. Did you notice yeah. that... Oh, motherfucker. Did you notice that the street lights are coming on? Um, I haven't gone into that spot area yet, but I think they're trying to come on. But yeah, I'm guessing it's starting to get to night. But actually, in the meantime, I don't see anything that's shooting me yet, so... I'm going to take advantage of that and take care of this point. Yo yo no 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 Vodka Oh I see them now back in Vodka Where is Vodka? Give me Ow That isn't where are you okay Vodka Let's go around Who killed A Kill the police car, good job. No, no, no. Happy Strato. Good Vodka. I heard there's vodka ahead. Must get. There must be. Done deal. Sounds good now. <laughs> Wee. Well, I almost went all over into the uh, river. Now there's one down the road. Oh yeah. Found it. <laughs> How did I get the kill? <laughs> With these things. <laughs> Enemy, yeah, I, I don't believe for a second that they recorded this sound from an actual gun. This is somebody beating a beating drum. A very, oh. a very small drum, by the way. This is somebody yeah. at home beating a small drum, or well, beating something small. Maybe a drum. Oh, the funny over here. I think this is ours. Yeah, that's a friendly. And that took out. That might be all of them now. 
Yeah. This engine noise is a really awful that awesome, like this guy had. Yeah. Come on, uh, don't take out this jump. Oh, there you go. Ow. You just get yourself stuck. Well, we did what we could. Uh, if those uh, radar trucks weren't immortal, then we would get this location too. And there's a lot of dead infantry. Oh, they're actually Just that's the way I like them. Dead and happy. Yeah. Oh, I can do it. I can always uh, imagine that this is gonna be my massacre. Oh, okay. Well, goodbye. <laughs> there you go. That landed right on top of me. I guess we can survive this. Anyway, that was the mission. The very first yeah. one. I think it was Are you in the Do you want to do another one in the meantime, or...? We can. So, I think it was pretty successful. Yeah. And now that we have better tanks, I can we can have a better way of defeating them all. Yeah, except that the next mission is not going to be tanks. Ah, aircraft, even better. Yeah, this is a Finnish Gulf. Finnish but, Gulf. but first, let's um, let's change something on a map. So, And this guy got took the beating and retreated towards south. Let's see what's the most likely, probably by the sea. I'm going to keep all my other planes with us, because that can still be useful in some ways or another. Okie dokie. I'm guessing this is a bombing mission? Um, it's an, um, it's, it's a naval, well, it's a um, naval air mission. Bring naval planes back and bring... Yeah, well, uh, yeah, every, anything that flies can fly off the desk, except the heavy ones. Heavy ones are not be capable of doing uh, flying off an aircraft carrier. Yeah, the closest plane that I have is, the, uh, that is in that area of expertise, is the Blenheim. But I also do have a Gladiators in a wild way, I think. Yes, that's what it's called. So, let's end this stream for now.